That's fine then. Away you go. <laughs> Hello. Frank, I was going to say you're top of the league, but by now you, you might not be anymore. But certainly uh, a, a good win given the circumstances. Very little time to prepare. Yeah, uh, you know, the, the, the post international break games are challenging. We were on a good run of form before, but. Um, important to get the lads back together and get them focused. I thought we showed that in our preparation. I thought we showed that in our performance. It's a, a difficult game for me on paper to come here and play against the team that we we lost against last year. Whilst dominating possession today, we dominated possession and we we score our goals, albeit we could have scored more and kept a clean sheet. So I can be very happy with that. Yeah, you could have been out of sight by half time, really, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, possibly. And you know, we created some nice chances. That, and, and Newcastle a team who don't don't give you big chances because they defend resolutely around their box. But we opened them up enough times to have maybe scored two or three. And then at half time you could feel much more comfortable. And I was aware that they were still in the game. And uh, I thought they came out a bit more positive in the second half as well. And we had to make sure that second one came. And when it did, we saw the game out very well. Five wins in a row now and four clean sheets. Yeah, it's, it's good form, you know, and it's a form that we needed. And uh, the players are working hard. Um, it's nice to be in the position we are. It won't be long that we're top of the league, but it's nice to have amassed those points and we can gain confidence from clean sheets, which we know have been problems for different reasons for us earlier in the season and parts of last. So uh, we need to keep working. We need to keep working to keep going because consistency is what we really will strive for. It's a short period of games that we've been consistent and that needs to continue. Thanks. Thank you. Craig Hope, please. Yeah, Frank, it was just sort of drifting a little bit there in the last 25 minutes. You said that yourself, it was still 1-0 Newcastle coming back into it to a degree. Is that why a player like Timo Werner is so important? He can just take a game and do what he did? Yeah, they're, they're, of course. And I think, you know, he had a couple of chances, to be fair, Timo. And some days it doesn't go in for you. But to, to show the... I thought he was a real threat for us throughout the game, especially on the transition, which with a team like Newcastle, it's hard to break them down when set. But when they try and open up, you need players with that quality, hopefully, to try and... And win your games or make games more comfortable. And I thought the, the pace with which he travelled with the ball was um, something special. That's what Timo has. And uh, and the unselfishness to find Tammy. So, yeah, it was a moment certainly that, that made myself feel very much more comfortable on the sideline. And, and you rely on players, top players, to do those things. Nizar Kinsella. Hi, Frank. Um, just wanted to talk about N'Golo Kante a little bit. He's kind of low-key been quite influential, uh, especially after last season where he, he struggled a little bit. Do you think he's kind of back to his best and uh, what kind of doing what you, exactly what you want to see of him? Yeah, I, I think I understand what you mean by quietly influential, but it's, it's much more than that for us. And last year, I think you'd say it was whatever you want, how you want to phrase it, but he missed 50% of the games with injuries. He had a tough time for different reasons and we're working very hard on that to get him as fit and fresh with how we manage his training and, and his game time. But his levels of performance are really, really high. Um, keep saying every time I get asked about N'Golo, I have so much faith in him and the top midfield player that he is in world football um, and not just at breaking up and winning balls back. We know that's a huge quality of his, but he's passing um, and supporting the midfield and playing in that deeper role now. It's been very uh, comfortable transition for him as he's playing. So really, really happy with how he's playing. But I just ask as well, sorry, um, just it, on, on his fitness, do you think he's kind of past the worst of it, uh, what he had last season? I, I don't want to tempt fate because at the minute he's going well. So I, I think we, we, it's a constant one for us that we are um, managing it. I mean, when when we came in, when I came in at the start of last season, he'd been injured from the, the uh, Europa League final. And that just rolled on through the year and we just chased it down from there. So that was unfortunate. It felt unfortunate for, for us to, to lose him for 50% of games because of the level of player he is. So uh, we have had a better period of him to get him in a place where we're really happy. We're very um, aware and keep check on his training and his numbers and how much distance he travels. Because every time you train and you allow him off the leash in training, he makes a ridiculous output because that's the way he plays. So we, uh, we are very careful with that. And at the minute, we're in a good place and hopefully that continues. Last one on today before we do a Monday's Rob Guest. Hi Frank, congratulations on the win. Uh, you named Antonio Rudiger in the starting eleven today. He's not played a lot of football so far this season. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, I was I was pleased with um, his performance. I think it's not easy, and I, I talked about this before the game. Having five centre backs is obviously. A lot of managers would say, I'd love five centre-backs, but it, it brings difficulties because you can only pick two if you're playing a back four. 
um, and two or three are unhappy and it's not easy to ask them to come straight into a team if they're not playing so regularly and perform. And that need, that means they have to have good attitude through the week, um, good attitude in how they prepare. And I've got confidence in Tony and I think he came in. I thought his performance alongside Kurt, they were very strong. Anything that came in the box, they dealt with it very well. They had a lot of the ball and they moved it well. So I'm really happy. It's a big, huge important for us to have a strong squad this year with the, the schedule as it is. Um, and so for Tony to come in and play and showing and keep a clean sheet. It's brilliant for him, brilliant for me.